vegan, because without love for others, we are less than human. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule. Round-eared elephant shrews prefer to burrow into sandy soil and create an underground network of tunnels. If you ever visit these hidden quarters, you will probably feel that it's like an intricate maze and easy to get lost in. Please continue watching to find out more. Dumela, that means hello in Tswana, one of the official languages of Botswana. This is a friendly greeting you will receive when visiting Botswana, a country blessed with incredible flora and fauna. I am Nuru, a vegan round-eared elephant shrew. My fellow animal friends and the loving people of Botswana offer you the vibrant music of their hearts. Wishing you the very best in life. Welcome to our show, The Elephant Shrews, the swift little gems of Africa. Across this vast African continent live 19 species of elephant shrews, or sengis, including us the round-eared elephant shrews. We are quite small, about the size of rodents. Each species has their own territory, and we can be found in various regions, except for Western Africa and the Sahara Desert. The largest species, the giant elephant shrew, weighs about 700 grams and inhabits two forested areas within the Adzangwa Mountains of Tanzania, while we, the round-eared sengis, who are the smallest of all, only weigh about 28 to 43 grams and live in arid, semi-desert, dry grass and shrubland in southern Africa, such as Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. Most of us favor deep green jungles, forests, dense woodlands, shrublands, savannas, open plains, grasslands, semi-arid areas, deserts, and mountains. Although we are widely distributed in Africa, you can hardly spot us because we are nimble and fast, and we are also able to camouflage so well into our surroundings. Even though we are called elephant shrews, we are neither elephant nor shrew. Our name comes from our elongated noses, which are like an elephant's trunk and our small, round bodies, which are similar to a shrew's body. Despite our resemblance to shrews, we are genetically closer to anteaters, aardvarks, and yes, even elephants. We are biologically classified as mammals of the Macrocyllididae family. Please allow me to elaborate more on my own species the round-eared elephant shrew, since we are the best known among our shrew family. Our body is mostly coated in grey-brown fur with a white underside, while our other family members have various fur colors that can be white, yellowish-brown, grey, brown, or black. Many other species of elephant shrews have pale rings around their eyes, but we don't. Our ears are much smaller and rounder than those of other shrew families. Like all elephant shrews, we have big eyes, a pointed head, and a long, flexible snout with nostrils at the end that are able to twist around in search of food. We have excellent eyesight, hearing, and a strong sense of smell. With our long tongue that can be extended to pick up small pieces of food, we often enjoy a hearty vegan meal. Our long, scaly tail has a gland on the underside, 
which we use to spread scent for marking our territory and for communication. When we walk, we hold our tail horizontal to the ground. How cool is that? Since we elephant shrews are considered one of the fastest land mammals ever, let me therefore expound on such attributes that garner us this honor. Our hind legs are long and slender for our size, but they are very strong, so we can run at speeds of up to 28.8 kilometers per hour. That's really fast for our size! Our powerful hind legs also enable us to hop like rabbits and jump as high as 1 meter in the air. We can even jump from branch to branch and use our tail as a counterbalance. That is why we earned the nickname of the Jumping Shrews. We really deserve to be crowned the master of sports. As diurnal animals, we are active during the day, when we use our paws to turn over dead leaves and soil and move around our highly sensitive snouts in search of our favorite foods. We are big eaters, because our constant running around at lightning speed burns up a lot of energy, so we need to consume nearly one-third of our body weight each day to sustain our fast-paced lifestyle. At night, we retreat into our comfortable nests for a short rest. All of our elephant shrew family like to make homes in warm places, and we round-eared elephant shrews are no exception. Some species build nests out of leaves on the forest floor, some construct complicated trails through leaf litter, and some use natural crevices as their shelters. For our private homes, we prefer to burrow into sandy soil and create an underground network of tunnels. If you ever visit these hidden quarters of ours, you will probably feel that it's like an intricate maze and easy to get lost in, but we can memorize every twist and turn. Above the ground, our personal territory can be as large as 97 hectares, Yet, we always keep our trails clear of twigs and other debris, so that we can move around easily and escape from danger if required. We may spend almost three quarters of our day maintaining our home and territory, keeping it nice and tidy. We are very well adapted to all kinds of environments. Even when the temperature is high, we can use a technique called evaporative water loss to maintain our body temperature at 35 degrees Celsius. It's like how humans sweat, but we are experts at it. Unlike our human friends, we don't need a fan or air conditioner to cool off. Don't you think it's really a smart way to cope with the hot weather in our tropical homes? We elephant shrews are very loyal to our partners. Once we find our mate, we bond with them for life. We raise our babies and protect our shared home and territory together. However, we don't act too clingy and give each other space. We know that the family is connected through our love and caring actions towards each other. That is true love. Female Sangis give birth to one or two babies after a gestation of 56 days and may produce several litters a year. Our newborns are very cute and smart. Shortly after birth, they are fully furred with their eyes open and able to walk and jump, just like tiny miniature versions of adult Sangis. They are the pride and joy of our family. The mama elephant shrew nurses her babies with her milk. When her newborns are five days old, she will go out several times a day to forage for food. She mashes it in her mouth and then returns to feed it to her beloved children. Meanwhile, the papa elephant shrew is busy guarding the territory to ensure the safety of his family. If he encounters intruders, he will stomp his feet or slap his tail on the ground to warn them so that they can escape to the safety of their nest. Teaching our young how to behave and survive is a parent's duty. The young must help their parents with house chores, like keeping the home tidy and clean. At two weeks of age, when the pups are fully weaned, 
they follow their mama out to learn how to find food. Adults take sand baths to distribute the family odor throughout their territory so that the young pups can use it to find their way home. At five to six weeks of age, the young elephant shrews will seek out their own home ranges. During this time, they still stay with their parents until they find a territory and start their own family. Now that they are grown up, they start to take on the important role that all elephant shrews do to help maintain the ecological balance in nature and live a fulfilling and responsible life on Earth. We elephant shrews have been living on this beautiful land in Africa for countless generations. Nevertheless, we are facing the threat of the fragmentation of our habitats by logging and clearing land for agricultural use and urban development. This makes it more and more difficult for us to find mates and suitable homes. We hope that people can conserve our homeland and stop destroying our habitats so that we can continue to live our lives and play our roles in the ecosystems of the beautiful Earth. I have no words to thank you for your love and care in protecting wildlife through your compassionate vegan lifestyle and your consideration for all co-inhabitants. Let us make planet Earth wondrous again! Caring viewers, thank you for joining us for our program today. Coming up next is Women Have to Be Protected and Respected, Part 7 of 8 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May you be forever blessed with God's infinite light and love. Vegan, because we wouldn't sell our moral values for a piece of dead animal carcass. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.